people want to see him. Uh, and plus, it's like semifinals and final matches. I don't know if he hit this hard enough. He's not going to fall on the three. You know, he may be able to hit the edge, but he can't make it for sure. He's very good at manipulating the balls to his advantage, even from uh, less than ideal positions. And safety plays like this is an aspect of the game that he excels at. He might be kicking this. I think he's curling the cue ball around, perhaps. Oh, is he? Oh, maybe he is. Yeah, he did and made the, the ball. Look at the spin with those multiple dots on the cue ball. You can really see he was there. And I noticed with this stance, look at he's adjusted his cue. Pocketed the ball. He's adjusted his stance some since the last time I've seen him play a couple of years ago. For, uh, 18 years and uh, maybe even more. It might, be, it might be more than that. First time I saw him was in 84. It's 2004 already. Oh, my God. Yes. Good. That's what I wanted to hear. I try not to dispense myth here, Danny. Great. Great. Because I, I always love firsthand stories, first of all not just uh, an opinion, it's a fact. You know, that's how he feels, and that's great to know, and that's why he's gonna endure and play great forever. Well, he's breaking and running out this rack, and that terrific mass A shot set up the whole rack yep. for him. The two nothing, Jimmy Wetch hasn't even come to the table. Serious love, look at Jimmy. He kicked one time, but I, I don't call it coming to the table. I call it like a chance to win the game. Uh, look at him. He is deadpan serious, and he is thinking, give me a chance before I get way behind. I want to shoot before I'm losing 6 nothing. Tough to get off the chair 6 nothing and play well. So, but at 2 nothing, you still have a lot of fire. Well, he a lot of life. Worry. He can't worry about the score. He needs to be no. mentally preparing for his opportunity when and if it comes. <laughs> if it comes. Oh, except for the eight to the nine, everything else leads to one another. Well, once again, a very common nine ball layout that these guys are very familiar with working with. You, you know, know, the people, the players like to talk about Efren has one weakness, his break. Running out, he's making a ball on the break. You know, there's nothing wrong with his break. Well, every other aspect of his game is so excellent that his break is uh, perhaps a little bit missed because it's more closely resembles average. Yeah, but also, I think the players want it to be that way. They're hoping his break is weak because everything else is obvious. It's really beautiful to watch him follow through the ball and the smoothness. And when you look at how loose his grip hand is, I mean, it, it resembles a, a wet dish rag hanging under the cue when he goes through the cue ball. No tension whatsoever. This that was is, a pretty good hit right there. Uh, very clean. The loose grip enables him to generate spin, maximum spin at minimum speeds and, and maneuver the cue ball through tighter areas and uh, kill the cue ball in ways that the other top players struggle or don't even attempt. Oh, that's true. Okay. We're going to get a moment, maybe we can pop up the uh, effort. His pool influences were Jose Perica and Ramon Hernandez. And his training method is lots of rotation, a game that's just about extinct here in the United States. Well, I started to explain it in one of the other tapes. Rotations with 15 balls. And you have a lot more obstruction, so you have to have a little better cue ball control to wiggle around and fall on balls. And uh, that's why all the Filipinos play such great nine ball you know after you get rid of six balls it looks easy it's the equivalent of us going from nine ball to six ball you know you get a shot in six ball you're out that's how they feel he's got another real good chance to break it right out here danny yeah jimmy wetch so far isn't having any fun well he was he had the opportunity to kick one time <laughs> look, look at the good part though he he won't have a chance to dog it And Reyes is really a nice rhythm. See, if he loses this match 7 nothing, and doesn't get to the table again, he doesn't lose any of his backers. Oh, I don't know that he's concerned about losing his backers at this point. Hey, what's this? Oh, my God, he did a little body English, and he knocked the cue ball into the point. This guy plays while the ball is rolling. That's how good he is. 
That ball was going in the pocket. He did a little twist, and the cue ball hit the point. He's concerned as to whether the point of the side pocket might have an influence on whether he can hit the edge of the cue ball or edge of the six ball. I think he can, and he's really lucky that he didn't uh, make the cue ball. I'm going to tell you, that was terrific speed that he used. He maximized his possibility of rolling that ball into the pocket by very judicious use of speed. Now he's back in line. Yeah, watch. What's going to happen? I want a shot. I want a shot. And it appears he failed to shave this morning. Some terrific camera work by our crack crew. All right, let's see the scattering report when we get a chance. A strong will to win. And again, they underrate his break, too. Look at this. See you later again here. <laughs> One on the side. Well, Look it at depends this. on where the two ball yeah. goes, yeah. Well, He's in good position here. He's running multiple racks. Yeah, he is. Leading 4-0 in this match. Efren Ray is, of course, a thousand. Flawless. Wet zero. A perfect match. <coughs> the last perfect match I saw was at Resorts International. Wade Crane against Buddy Hall in the finals. Shot a thousand. Well, I'm not sure there's been too many other ones to see, Danny. I don't know if anyone else has ever shot a thousand in tournament play. And maybe not. <laughs> the place is going to go wild if he runs seven and out here. This is five. You know, a lot of times you hear guys discuss in uh, pool rooms and such uh, great big runs of balls. And in all the tournaments I've ever witnessed, uh, I think about the biggest runs I've ever seen, I've, I've seen eight a couple times and seven a couple times. You never see double-figure runs. You hear about them. Uh -oh. Uh oh that's a no-no, but he's going to get away with it. He really didn't want to hit that. He wanted to spin under it, and he's grinning a little. <laughs> he knows he got away with something there. A rare, rare loss of the cue ball. Taking a little time to determine how he wants to play this. I think he's going to go three rails. Rail first? To the side. No. Ball Cut first. it. Ball first, go three rails, the five in the side. Well, now he's looking to see if uh, if he can get to the corner pocket and where it would be real bad to get. And, uh, let me see what he's going to do. I, I like the three railer, but he doesn't apparently. Rail I guess first. he does. Rail first. Yeah, he side did have rail face. first, but you see, yeah, he's in the hole. No easy. Wow. Jimmy Wex was. Leaning. I caught Jimmy Wetz leaning. You didn't lean well enough now. You don't play body English as well as Efren. Well, he chose the rail first path because it lends itself to getting around from the side pocket, but also that's an issue with scratching, too. Right. It lends itself to going a little shorter. If you hit the ball first, he would have went a little longer, and he would have been straight in, and he wouldn't have had to do this. And he's slinking around here. See, he wouldn't have had to do that if he would have hit the ball first. But, hey, how am I second-guessing Efren? He's, he's, rolling, he's rolling over top player after top player. The newly, Any game. Well, he's the newly elected inductee into the Hall of Fame. So yeah. he makes some good decisions along the way. Yeah, right now, he's kind of setting himself up, engaging the speed that he needs. He got a little funny here. You know, he may not be able to get by that point if he tries to go two rails. So uh, he's going to draw the ball one rail, I believe. Oh, two rails. Look Power at that draw. stroke. Beautiful shot. Well, that's cute. Efren's going to lead five games to zero. So far, West has had very little input into the match. Well, all you people out there uh, watching this on the internet and, and, and AccuStats, it's uh, 
you're, you're getting a treat and a half. You're seeing perfect play by uh, the greatest player in the world, in most people's eyes. Uh, Efren the Magician. Four ball in the corner and the one ball on the side. Four ball went right in. The one, one ball. Rail. Okay, the where's the two? Well, uh oh, stopped funny. Stopped on the 50 yard line. I don't know. He may be able to go forward and catch the point, maybe with a little reverse English. But uh, he's not sitting in, you know, Mickey Mouse layout here. But like I said, I think if he goes forward with a little reverse, center reverse, he can catch that point and hold it up. That's what he's going to do. I, I don't think he can draw it uh, past the side. He's got to roll forward with a lot of reverse. And that's what he did, and he caught what the point. What a shot. What a shot. That was, the, on the scale of difficulty, that was a 9 on a scale of 10. That's a stroke that you do not see uh, many of the other top players employ. I can't think of any. Yeah, I saw it coming. I saw it you coming. You called it. Yeah. I'm saying how many of them can execute it. Yeah. Seeing it and doing it is a little, and especially with accuracy. See all the English he had on that ball? That was so that when he hit that point, it grabbed to the right, not the left into the pocket. No problem. Perfect position. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, uh, I'll tell you why, Jimmy, Jimmy Wetch might not want to shoot anymore. He's pulling from the run seven and out, I believe. I don't think he feels that. No, nah, I'm only, I, I'm just like to make a little joke about it. The guy's suffering, so I'll make a little humor. I don't think he's even suffering. I think he's kind of amused at uh, it's the quality of the play, yeah. Even, uh, even the best players are still pool fans at heart, and when they see someone put on a show like this, you have to admire it. Well, he fell a little short, but I don't think he's going to have problems. He could reach it. Efren really needs to bear down here and go ahead and complete this run for a perfect match. Scores now way of six, Wetch to zero. Wetch with only one kick shot opportunity throughout the match. Let's go to Jimmy's bio here if we get a chance. Okay. Wetch is 35 from Minneapolis, owner of Jimmy's Pro Billiards, sponsored by Sean. Okay, when we get a chance, we're going to go back to that shot that he uh, killed the cue ball and hit the point of the... Uh, rubber and that's how he got position uh, are we coming to an end here he has failed to pocket the ball on the break here's a replay of that tremendous shot that we saw watch in english see if the english did when he hit that point straight and right out and what a tremendous shot that was well, anyway the fans just mr crane can i hit him with you and mike broke Crane ran 200 and played safe. <laughs> oh, boy. A quick Irving Crane, Mike Siegel story. A great shot, but however, that's not going to get you six games. But you got to play him one at a time right now. Just like Efren did all that great play, Jimmy is capable of that, too. Just needs the chance. But how are you going to beat stuff like that? He's doing every, every part of the pool game perfectly. He hit the paint on that ball. When you roll a cue ball eight feet away and nick the one ball so that it only travels about a foot. Get a catalog and pick some great tapes. Or Accustat.com. Well, Jimmy made a two-reel kick approach and he contacted the one ball, but he's not gonna like the result of that shot wasn't anything he did wrong. He had to make the hit. It's just unfortunate. Nothing's working for him well, right now. Well, Jimmy so far has had a kick and a save. And it could and be a, end of him. And a kick. He had a kick earlier in the match, a safety yeah. and a kick. Yeah. Two kicks and a safety. It's tough to get seven games that way. And I would imagine that, that he is cooked goose right now. Efren playing with perfect rhythm, a lot of confidence. 
He's not jumping around with his stroke like he was earlier in the week when we were watching some of his matches. Remember when he kind oh, of no, flinched he, on some uh, of those strokes? He got, uh, listen, he, he overcut that ball a little bit and almost didn't get long enough, but he did. He almost caught that point, and he, if he did, he'd be down at the end rail here. Well, but, you know, uh, he's been doing all the shooting. He's had no rest throughout this match. Pocketed every ball. He hasn't had rest uh, in the last two days. He's just been playing around the clock. And like I say, not against Mickey Mouse. He's been beating the top players in the world. He won the one pocket tournament. And played his one pocket matches in between playing nine ball matches in the yeah. other event. Yeah, he was playing the nine ball tournament and uh, the finals of the one pocket, one after another. And uh, I think this He just is... quietly came up with a terrific shot that was low with a little bit of inside spin, drifted around three rails, made it look so easy the audience didn't even recognize the difficulty of the shot. And this is a knowledgeable audience. You know, he got a little funny here, but he can shoot left-handed. That's the big thing here. You know, I, I tell all the beginners out there, play both hands, because look at this. this. This stops you from stretching and using the bridge. And this is going to be a very painless loss for Jimmy Wetch. I mean, he didn't suffer. He never was in it. He never had a chance. He didn't dog it. Uh, he still got his backers. And here's a thousand match. You're not going to see this very often. Perfect match. What a terrific, terrific match. That was just a sheer pleasure to bring the uh, people here viewing and be able to witness this. There's a pass. It's a pretty simple. 1,000 for Reyes and zero for West. Uh, Which has nothing to feel bad about. That was a twist match. We're going to be right back, so hang on. We're going to try to get Efren Reyes up here for a short interview. We're back, and it's our extreme pleasure to bring you Efren Reyes, fresh off of a thousand, a perfect match out here. Well, uh, you know, the, the break, you know, every time I break, it got me easy shot. That's why I can always grab and make me yeah. no more pressure for that, you know, and I play good. Yeah, yes, you, they were not all easy layouts, easy run. You made it look easy, but why are you so mean? <laughs> why are you so mean? I mean... You're killing people. Oh, that, I think they don't like to win because every time I play somebody, they play bad. You know? yeah, they're intimidated, it's called. Which they didn't dog get a it chance. Yeah, they yeah. You know, uh, tell us a little bit about that one shot, the two ball down in the corner pocket. Uh, it was a, You were on a run of about three or four racks. The two balls by the side pocket up here at the cue balls here and you have to shoot the cue ball all the way down to use a low right hand English to the point. Yes. You have to play uh, yeah. to kill the ball and make uh, more uh, spin so that uh, the cue ball more follow me, hit the and the, the right pitch. speed yeah. also or yeah. it glances too much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Earlier in the, earlier in the match, you had to masse slightly around this ball to to remember the ball was down yeah. on the long yeah. rail, slight masse. You hit that perfect. Yeah. Fell a little short in your position, but uh, yeah, came short, right short, out. Yeah, I play I play short. You know, I don't know how come I, I play short for that. And then the, the eight ball that you had the back cut, and then uh, two cushions withdraw back out to the center of the table. Nine balls down table. Do you remember the shot I'm talking about where you back cut? Here's the eight ball, mm -hmm. and here, here, and back up for the nine. Oh, anybody Start. can do that to a lot of our good ally. You know, Corey, he make more, more than to me because he can draw. Yeah, more than here. Okay, but f for the audience, why not top spin? Because you could get to the end rail. I cannot get the touch the the person over there. I have to. I had to hit the other uh, cushion here. But it's very hard to play three cushion to spin there because it's not uh, easy to make it. Yeah, difficult cut. Yeah. So the draw play is uh, mm -hmm. easier to pocket the ball that way. Yeah. Okay, from all of us at AccuStats, congratulations. And to everybody that witnessed that match, thank you very much for sharing your time with us, and we look forward to seeing you again. Okay, congratulations, <laughs> and don't relax, because you got a tough cookie next match. Ralph Suquet's playing very well, too. Yeah. And you're going to have to beat him at least twice. Okay. I, if I break like that, I don't think they... Uh, you beat anybody. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh.